I'm not sick and you're not sick. No one is fucking sick, dude. Like they want you to feel sick so that you buy their cures. When you have these types of things going on, you can't function in the day to day world. And that's what leads you to believe there's something wrong with you and that you need to take meds in order to correct it, right? Such a toxic idea to me. I'm literally getting goosebumps and shaking because this is so fucking powerful to me. So as you can tell by the title of this video, this is gonna piss some people off. This is gonna be highly problematic, but I actually don't give a fuck. <laughs> so this is my honest take. Um, this is not me. Once again, this is not me. I was called upon to speak about this and I have to say what I've been impressed to say. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. You got a problem with it, take it up with God. Mental illness is a social construct. In the book Letting Go by Dr. David R. Hawkins, he says, you are subject only to what you hold in your mind. Stop giving a disorder a name. Do not label it. A label is a whole program. We could go into why like self-diagnosis is a little bit dodgy. You're at home on WebMD or you're typing in your symptoms and you're trying to figure out what could be possibly going on with you. And I feel like self-help is valid because a lot of people just don't have insurance or access to healthcare. And that's an issue of society. I don't think self-diagnosis is bad. But I feel like you have to be careful with anything you're identifying with or as. If you don't know me and my personal story, I lost a close friend to suicide in 2019 and then the pandemic happened. I became cripplingly depressed. Um, I was diagnosed with major depressive disorder, general anxiety disorder as well. It's actually crazy. There was a time where I couldn't get in contact with my doctor. She just ghosted on me. I was like, I need my prescriptions refilled. And I kind of had to figure it out. Like I had to figure that shit out for myself. And I found it surprisingly easy to overcome my mental illness when I stopped labeling it as such. When I stopped assigning so much meaning to it and identifying with it. I went through so much work to get evaluated for autism. Like I put on like a six month wait list. Another one was like a year long wait list. I confirmed I had autism, but then like I found out I had ADHD as well, which nobody expected that to happen. <laughs> I was like, what? Let's just cut to the chase, right? It all boils down to this. You have to decide whether you're mentally ill or spiritually gifted. I'm finding out personally more and more by the day that calling something a disorder or an illness is half of the fucking pain and suffering you're going through. Being a human, being alive, being sentient, being conscious, being on planet earth, living in a capitalistic society, like all of these things are already inherently difficult. And on top of that, you're going to some person who has some level of authority and then they're telling you, oh, this thing is wrong with you. And even worse, this happens to kids, dude. This school nurses are giving people medicine. Like, how is this allowed? First of all, who gets to decide whether there's something wrong with me? And why is there something wrong with me because I'm different? Why is there something wrong with me because I show up in the world differently or I express myself differently? Like, neurodivergent is just brain different. You just process things differently. And all this shit is just a joke. Like it's just a, it's honestly such a joke to me and I have to like contain myself because I'll fucking go off on this. It bothers me that so many people are being gaslit to think that they need some type of medicine and really that's just who you are. That's who you are. And you should be the one to decide whether you're sick or not. Yes, validation is important, but too much validation is just enabling. You're just allowing people to just walk around believing that they're inherently defective. And a lot of these professionals are hijacking the conversation, hijacking the narrative and leading you into a direction. And that is not okay with me. Half of the pain is really just your identification with it. The meaning you're assigning to what you're experiencing. And that's why you have to be careful with labels. You have to be careful calling yourself depressed or anxious or having these disorders. It can be helpful. And I found that it was a good starting place. Maybe I am, maybe I do have autism, mild inattentive ADHD, but you can't get stuck there is my point. So obviously every person's experience with mental health is different. And I have to be very careful about how I speak about these things because I'm not a proponent for us scrapping the whole thing. I just think there's issues that need to be spoken of and I don't hear a lot of people talk 
talking about it. Ultimately, it's your life. You have to be the one to decide whether you want to diminish your abilities or you want to expand on your abilities. So people who have like, you know, what is considered to be a extreme mental illness, schizophrenia or psychosis, bipolar, borderline, it's extremely challenging to live in our world because it's extremely debilitating because you're supposed to be a good worker bee and how are you supposed to have these um, visions, hallucinations, impulses that can't be controlled or like splits. When you have these types of things going on, you can't function in the day-to-day -day world. And that's what leads you to believe there's something wrong with you and that you need to make, take meds in order to correct it, right? But this is so such a toxic idea to me. I'm literally like getting goosebumps and shaking because this is so fucking powerful to me. Someone has us on lock. Our consciousness is on lock to the point where we really believe there's something wrong with us because we're not able to conform to this toxic ass society, this toxic ass this dystopian ass culture that we're living in right now. And they're telling us that we need to take drugs to fix it. And it's very fucking weird. Why would we not think that our environment plays a role in our consciousness and our mental state and our development as individuals? Like, I just think it's very weird that, oh, well, suddenly now we need to become dependent on these companies to provide us with solutions. It's fucking capitalism and it doesn't make any sense to me and people need to fucking wake up, okay? I'm only speaking on my personal experience. You have to make a decision for yourself. I personally believe mental illness, the fact that they're, you are ill or sick is a fucking construct that people are buying into. I really believe like in Naruto, right, in X-Men, there are certain characters that don't know how to use their abilities yet and they are fumbling, they're, they're sabotaging, like they're hurting the people they love and they're not able to function in the modern world because their brains developed exactly the way it was meant to so that they could usher in a new age. If everyone is fucking mentally ill, how is it even still an illness? Because there has to be some standard of health that we're comparing it to, right? And so if all these people are coming out and saying they suffer with depression, suffer with anxiety, suffer with mood dysregulation, suffer with intrusive thoughts, obsessions, whatever it is, then this is normal. This is normal, a normal occurrence because it is now average to the experience of living in the information age or to the experience of living in the current era. Some people choose to take meds. I have a friend who chose to take that route. And I can always bring up Naruto and X-Men, right? To back to that point. You know, Rogue, for instance, if you guys remember The Last Stand, which maybe you don't because it was fucking trash, <laughs> but you know, Rogue has this ability with extreme empath where like she just will touch you and she becomes you. This ability though means that every time she touches somebody, the other person blacks out. It was so debilitating to her that she wanted to go and get the cure. They had a cure for mutants. That was her whole thing is that she wanted to be normal or she wanted to not be a mutant anymore, right? And so I feel like there's a lot of people that will, will want to choose that. And I'm not saying it's wrong. Like if you genuinely feel like there's something you want to do in life and your gift is a hindrance to you, then it might not be considered a gift to you. It's considered a curse. You know, if the, th if the way your brain is, let's put it this way. If the way your brain is, is getting in the way of the goals and the pursuits and the desires you have for your life. I don't think there's anything wrong with seeking treatments, wanting to change your brain, but I feel like it depends. It really depends on you as a person and what your goals are for your life. I don't think there's anything wrong with you wanting to be able to function in this world. I just know for a fucking fact that we didn't evolve this way. We didn't evolve for instant gratification like this. We didn't evolve for all these conveniences and comforts that we have in the modern era. And there's gonna be some consequences to things shifting in this direction. And I feel like we need to, we need to stop this whole we're all sick shit right now because right fucking now because it's not gonna hold i'm telling you it's not gonna hold too many fucking people are experiencing this for it to just be an anomaly for it to just be an abnormality that needs to be treated personally i found a way of transmuting my mental illness into a spiritual gift if i wanted to be like the standard of health and normalcy that i was conditioned into to seeing um i would have to change my entire personality i would have to not be me anymore to a certain extent and so I think that's where I found the wall. Like, yes, I wanna regulate. I wanna regulate myself. I wanna cope, I wanna heal, I wanna be happy. But at the same time, I still wanna be allowed to be who I am and I don't want to become a robot. It's like, it's painful when people tell you they like you better when you're on meds because it means they're conditioned to believe that being a certain way is right and being a certain way is wrong. It's very toxic because the reality is God designed us to be exactly who the fuck we are and exactly who the fuck we were as children. Everything that happened in our lives happened for a reason. I am a fucking naturally depressive person because it pushes me to work on myself. It pushes me to get out of bed and go for a run at six in the morning 
morning to, you know, regulate myself. And it pushes me to pursue things in life that actually excite me, autism, whatever. I'll get so fucking immersed in something. Whole eras of my life, whole careers have been built because of obsessions, because of a special interest, so to speak. Me just being so immersed in something for months, years at a time that I developed all these skills that go along with it. And the same thing with my ADHD. I mean, I feel like I'm multitasking. I'm not really sure how well I'm doing it, but I have this wheel of pursuits. I can stay just as involved in like three or four or five things all at one time. And it doesn't really feel like I'm falling out of balance with any of them. And you know, months can go by and I can get a lot of shit done in a really short amount of time. And that's that's my perspective. I mean, some people would argue and say they can't get shit done, scatterbrain, but any experience with consciousness is gonna be both negative and positive at times. I hate the idea like that people are being pushed to believe there's something wrong with them. Like, dude, this is the best thing that ever happened to you. This is like the coolest shit ever to have this ability that other people don't have. I personally found so much joy in seeing it that way. Once again, you gotta make your own decision for your own life and what works for you. Personally, my pain is directly tied to what I'm supposed to be doing in life. Instead of saying, my brain sucks, I need a lobotomy, which is something I used to always say. Now I look at like, thank God I'm fucking built different. So what am I supposed to do with it? Because it's your pain and your struggles that ultimately push you towards being a better version of yourself in the end.